there guys and welcome back to another FPV guy video. As you know, I've been roaming around here at CES 2017 trying to check out the new products, the cool stuff. And here at the UV5 booth, I'm finding a brand new mini quad racer. But unlike the carbon fiber ones we have usually been flying, this is like a full on design unit. It has a removable battery. It's a removable smart battery. It's a 4S 1400 milliamp battery that's gonna give you about maybe 10 minutes if you're very conservative and if you fly like me probably five to six minutes and if you're a racer less than that but a long enough for the race and that's really what it's all about because this is a race aircraft it's not meant to be flying for 20 minutes and doing selfies so up on the corner here is a custom UV5 2205 motor you can of course fly with a regular prop or a tri-prop if that's your flavor in front we have a standard FPV camera. Up here you see the control links and in the back we have the really cool FPV 5.8 antenna. It's built hard into the butt here so that when you crash you're gonna break this but you're not gonna break off the antenna and you're not gonna destroy your VTX. Now the arms here they come in two shapes right hand turn and left hand turn. They're really easy to replace. You literally just pop out four screws here and then you can pop the arm off if you do damage anything and pop a fresh arm on. So it's very modular, it's meant for racing, it's meant for what you need to do in order to crash, be right back up and race again. Now it's available in two styles. This is the 5.8 analog, which is 499 BNF, and over here, oh, thank you sir, they're handing me the Konex version, which is 699, again BNF. Up here you have the HD downlink sitting on the tail here. It's on a rubber mount so that when you crash, you're not gonna destroy your expensive downlink. The Konex camera is built into the nose here and is of course a 1080p video camera that you can fly with in full 1080p. And one of the cool things they are including a HD DVR for the base station so you can record what comes out of your downlink. Again here, the way this works with the battery is you push hard here and just pull up and here is your modular, let's see if I can get that, my fingers out here. That's your modular battery, 4S, 1400 milliamp. You have the quick connects down here, so no fiddling around with the, T, the XT60 plug. Slide this right back in, and you're ready to go again, push to turn it on. And you have your HD camera up here. This one is a little longer than the analog one, so you're probably gonna get a little bit of a different flight profile, but you do have the coolness of actually getting full on HD, that can also, if you're having a race, you can have the racers all broadcast that up or record it for whatever you're gonna use your video for. Now, the battery, <laughs> it's so cool to have somebody handing me all this stuff here. Here is the battery, and this is how the charger works. So you just plug this into power, and it actually comes with a power block, but it looks like all the other power bricks you have seen. This is what's different. It closes up like that. We open it back up again. Thank you, sir. You need a, some, an assistant to always just reach in and make things work for you. You take this, you plug it in, and now you're charging. So this is a really cool, you can have like a four charger bay. They're really easy. You see how much light and power you got. You pop them out, you throw them on, and you're ready to go. Now the downside, of course, these things are about $50 a pop. So they're gonna be a bit more expensive than what you're used to paying for your 4S 1400 milliamp. However, the ease of operation, and there's two pins. I wouldn't be surprised to see some people hacking a mount and using regular batteries, but I'm not gonna tell my assistant that because he works for the company. I know how to do that. The thing is though, I do like the smart battery because I have batteries that I have forgotten to use and they've been sitting on a charge for a while and all of a sudden I have a battery that's not working very well. So a battery that manages itself is definitely the future and it's something I'm gonna be using. So that's the smart battery. So you want to go to the website uvfly.com and I'm going to put that right down at the bottom of the screen here. Go check it out because this is definitely a new interesting direction in FPV mini quads. And again, the starting, the, the analog version here is 499 bind and fly and which is actually very, very much appropriate price point for a high end ready to fly or bind and fly. Mini Quad, it's right in there with other products similar on the market. 
to stay. Make sure you subscribe, stay tuned for more videos from CES, and go check out their website.